it's been a while since I've painted. When I was in university, I was really inspired by Danny Fox, the painter. And I did a lot of paintings that were very much influenced by him. And at that time, that was the only thing that I could think about. It was just painting. I was taking a drawing class. I was taking a sculpture class at the time. I wasn't taking a painting class, but for all of my projects, I handed in paintings, which my teachers did not like, but I couldn't help it because I just couldn't think about drawing or sculpture. I could only think about painting. And when I was painting, I was living with my three friends in a small apartment. I had one of the smallest rooms. It could fit a bed and a, a little desk kind of smushed up against it and I kept the wall opposite to the bed completely clear so I could nail canvases into the wall and just paint straight onto them, onto the wall, just raw, unstretched canvas. And so when you'd walk into my room, it basically looked like I had a painting for wallpaper because it covered the whole wall. I really wanted to play with making big paintings. I felt like for so long I was restricting myself to small formats and things I could just fit on a desk, but I really wanted to paint big, as big as myself. And when I would paint, I would paint multiple things at a time. I couldn't just paint one thing at a time. I had one painting on the wall and like three on the ground. Maybe a fourth on an, an extra wall. Probably wasn't the best environment to sleep in because it just smelled like paint. <laughs> it wasn't oil paint though, it was just acrylic. But since then, I have not felt moved to paint and I felt really frustrated by painting. I have a hard time incorporating color into my work. I really love ink and outlines. I really love graphite and how kind of messy it looks. And with paint, I really wanted to kind of have that look of something being organic and kind of not perfect and kind of messy, but I didn't know exactly how to achieve that and I don't have a lot of knowledge or experience with painting. So I could never really get my paintings how I wanted it to be, but I know that to do that, I just have to practice. And then in the last couple months, while I was kind of in and out of Montreal, I was traveling, it was the summertime, I began to become more inspired by painting and less Danny Fox style and more just abstract. And this is also when I was doing a lot of my path drawings, these scribbly drawings. And so I was like, hmm, how can I translate these drawings into paintings? What would that look like? And I'm still trying to figure that out, but I got really excited by painting. So I went and bought a bunch of acrylics and some canvases, and I've just been experimenting. I'm not exactly sure what my art is supposed to be or it looks like or what I want it to be right now but I'm kind of just following fun and joy and the fun of it. There are some things that I know for sure that I like to draw and that feels good but it's also kind of nice to just experiment and at least with painting I know that if I don't like it in the end I can just gesso over it and start again. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs>